It's hard to make out, but in the early hours of the morning, these the latest small boat arrivals in Dover, tipping the number to over 20,000 since the election, a tiny fraction of the overall net migration number, but a fraction that matters to many voters. Targets haven't worked very well, but we've got... Uh... Things we're seeing about this in terms of getting net you're, you're about you're, You are about to tell me about a load of new targets. So don't start... The, you can't start the answer targets, by saying targets don't work. Target, I don't say targets don't work in any circumstances, but numerical targets on uh, migration have not had a happy history in recent years. So no targets on migration. But amidst claims of a lack of direction, Professor John Curtis telling The Independent the PM has shown absolutely no ability to explain how he's going to lead the country, this Thursday, Keir Starmer will set out measurable milestones. We're told it's not a relaunch. The speech is being billed as a plan for change. We're expecting targets on things like crime, NHS waiting lists, early years learning. It is all about relentless prioritisation. Insiders tell me the government know they can't do everything. They need prior priorities and priorities that are going to cut through with the general public. The government have got five priorities, missions. Do you know what they are? No. I guess they are the NHS. I think that is one. I'm sure that's one. Um, beyond that, I'm not too sure. Do you think they could be clearer then in their messaging? Uh, well, actually telling us what they want to do would be clearer, for a start. So we've had five missions, first steps, had two priorities. How are these milestones any different? And what you need from the Prime Minister is Rachel Reeves, the Chancellor, set out the economic strategy for five years. This is me, as Prime Minister, setting out the public services strategy for the next five years. And now you see, you'll see going into New Year, that's what the government stands for. And there may be noises off in, in, over the past few months, and maybe this should have been done faster with an earlier budget and an earlier launch of the missions. But it basically means the government set up, the Labour government set up, for the next four years in public service delivery and economic driving growth. From questions about freebies, farmers' protests and this week his first Cabinet resignation, the PM knows he needs a story, a message he can deliver and one that people will listen to. Ali Fortescue, Sky News, Westminster.